Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Saturday. We have 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. A lot of good action on the board here. Going to be an action-packed weekend here um, with MLB, college football, and NFL. So a lot of stuff to bet on. So uh, let's hope for a good weekend as we close out the week. Go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Support the channel. Almost at 6K subs, which is super awesome. So uh, keep up the good work. And a little promo um, before, before tomorrow. It's um, on my bookie. If you guys aren't already signed up with my bookie, they have a boost. They do these boosts randomly. And uh, anytime they do, I'll announce them to you guys. Um, it's for the, the UFC pay per view tomorrow. And basically, it, you can bet up to $25 which is the max bet is 25 bucks but it is on the main card which is five or six matches will somebody bleed plus 100 odds for the whole main card and it's pretty much free money i watch all the pay-per-views can't say i've ever watched a pay-per-view without any fight and not ending in blood multiple fights will have blood in them and that's that's all the boost was and um so yeah go ahead and sign up with my bookie and uh free $25 bet risk-free unless there is no blood I wouldn't say it's risk-free but it's highly unlikely that there is no blood and um so yeah I could give you an extra 25 bucks to bet on uh for the rest of this weekend here so check that out and uh yeah we'll hop into it 15 matchups starting with the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Chicago Cubs pitching for the Cardinals is John Lester with an ERA of 4.59 he's seven and six Pitching for the Cubs is Adrian Sampson with an ERA of 2.84. He's 1-2. and two. St. Louis opening up as the favorite at minus 162. Chicago plus 152 with the over-under at 8. The last start for Lester, he is 1-0. and oh. Pitched six innings, gave up two runs, and had two strikeouts. For Sampson, he's 1-0. and oh. Pitched five innings, gave up two runs, and had three strikeouts. I mean, yeah, we're rolling with the Cardinals. Easy pick here. I mean, they're just too hot. Um, you know, Adrian Sampson has been pretty decent for the Cubs here, but Cardinals are just playing really great baseball here. Really hard to fade them. Going to roll with St. Louis. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Pitching for the Pirates is Will Crow with an ERA of 5.77. He's 4-7. and seven. Pitching for the, for the Phillies is Ranger Suarez with an ERA of 1.70. He is 5-5. Five and five. The Phillies opening up as the favorite at minus 250. Pittsburgh plus 230 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Crow, he is 1-0. Pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had five strikeouts. For Suarez, he's 0-1. Pitched six innings, gave up two runs, and had five strikeouts. Um... Yeah, you know, love the Phillies here. Um, definitely a big pitching advantage in this matchup for the Phillies. Love Ranger on the mound. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with Philadelphia here. All right, next matchup, we have the Houston Astros versus the Oakland Athletics. Pitching for Houston is Framber Valdez with an ERA of 3.07. He's 11-5. and five. Pitching for Oakland is Sean Manea with an ERA of 4.05. He is 10-10. and 10. Oakland opening up as the favorite at minus 106. Houston minus 104 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Valdez, he's 1-0. Pitched 7 innings, gave up 0 runs, and had 6 strikeouts. For Manea, he's 0-1. Pitched 5 innings, gave up 4 runs, and had 3 strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Manea's had a couple um, rough outings in his last two, giving up a good bit of runs. Um... Such a close matchup here, and uh, Houston getting plus, you know, the plus one and a half. I think that's the better play here. Um, yeah, going to roll with Houston plus one and a half, and what should be a nice uh, close game here. Next matchup, we have the New York Yankees versus the Boston Red Sox. Pitching for the Yankees is Nestor Cortez with an ERA of 2.79. He's 2-2. Two and two. Pitching for Boston is Nick Pavetta with an ERA of 4.56. He's 9-7. and seven. Boston opening up as the favorite at minus 113. The Yankees plus 103 with the over-under at 10.5. The last start for Cortez, he's 1-0. Pitched four innings, gave up three runs, and had seven strikeouts. For Pavetta, he's 1-0. Pitched three innings, gave up three runs, and then had three strikeouts. 
Um, yeah, you know, I think I'm going to take the Yankees plus one and a half here. Uh, they're getting pretty, you know, underdog money here. I mean, not real, plus one and three, not the best value, but uh, there's really not much value in this game here. I do think there is a pitching advantage with Nestor Cortez on the mound. He has been pretty solid. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Yankees plus one and a half here. Next matchup, we have the Kansas City Royals versus the Detroit Tigers. Pitching for the Royals is John Heasley with an ERA of 9.00. He's 0-1. Pitching for the Tigers is Tariq Skubal with an ERA of 4.25. He's 8-12. Detroit opening up as the favorite at minus 129. Kansas City plus 119 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Heasley, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings. Gave up four runs and had two strikeouts. For Scooball, he's 1-0. Pitched three innings. Gave up one run. Gave up two runs and then had two strikeouts. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I like Detroit here. I d- don't like John Heasley on the mound. He's been giving up a lot of runs in his you know, few starts that he has had. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with the Tigers here. All right, next matchup, we have the Miami Marlins versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Pitching for the Marlins is Sandy Alcantara with an ERA of 3.01. He's 9-13. Pitching for the Rays is Shane McClanahan with an ERA of 3.43. He's 9-6. Tampa Bay opening up as the favorite at minus 197. Miami plus 184 with the over-under at 7.5. The last start for Sandy, he's 1-0. Pitched six innings. Gave up one run and had four strikeouts. For McClanahan, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings. Gave up one run and then had seven strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I like Tampa Bay in this matchup here. Um, Yeah, I like McClanahan on the mound. It's just hard to trust Miami. It really is. They just have not looked too good here. Um, You know, Sandy has been pretty good on the mound, but um, I just don't trust the Marlins as a whole. I'm going to roll with the Rays here. Next matchup, we have the Texas Rangers versus the Baltimore Orioles. Pitching for the Rangers is Jordan Lyles with an ERA of 5.36. He's 9-12. Pitching for the Orioles is John Means with an ERA of 3.25. He is 6-7. Baltimore opening up as the favorite at minus 138. Texas plus 128 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Lyles, he's 0-1. Pitched three innings. Gave up five runs and had three strikeouts. For means, he's 1-0. Pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs and had six strikeouts. I mean, just a matchup. I'm just not excited about one bit. I mean, just kind of a horrible series here. Um... I did say I probably was going to take the underdog in this matchup here. Um... But I do like John Means on the mound. Jordan Lyles has not been good on the mound. He's given up a lot of runs. Coming off a five-run game. I think I'm going to take Baltimore in this matchup. Uh, John Means has looked good on the mound. And yeah, we're going to roll with the Orioles here. All right, next matchup, we have the Washington Nationals versus the Cincinnati Reds. Pitching for the Nationals is Eric Fetty with an ERA of 4.10. He's 7-9. Pitching for the Reds is Vladimir Gutierrez with an ERA of 4.53. He's 9-6. The Reds opening up as the favorite at minus 148. Washington plus 138 with the over-under at 9.5. The last start for Eric. He is 0-1. Pitched five innings. Gave up two runs and had five strikeouts. For Gutierrez, he's 1-0. Pitched three innings. Gave up five runs and had three strikeouts. Yeah, Reds have not looked good lately. They've been struggling here. And, you know, Washington's already been able to get a win in this series. I would take Washington plus one and a half. I just don't trust the Reds at this point in time. Next matchup, we have the Chicago White Sox versus the Cleveland Indians. Pitching for the White Sox is Lance Lynn with an ERA of 2.52. He's 10-5. and five. Pitching for the Indians is Eli Morgan with an ERA of 5.68. He is 3 and 7. The White Sox opening up as the favorite at minus 182. Cleveland plus 150 with the over under at 8.5. The last start for Lynn. He's 0 and 1. Pitched five innings. Gave up one run and had five strikeouts. For Morgan, he's 1 and 0. Pitched six innings. 
gave up one run and had three strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I like the White Sox here. I do like Lance Lynn on the mound. Eli Morgan, you know, it's been very kind of hit or miss all season. Going to stick with the White Sox. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Pitching for the Dodgers as Clayton Kershaw with an ERA of 3.27. He's 10 and 7. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 4.53. He's 2 and 10. The Dodgers opening up as the favorite at minus 230. Arizona plus 210 with the over under at 8.5. The last start for Kershaw, he's 1 and 0. Pitched five innings. Gave up one run and had eight strikeouts. For Gallen, he's 0 and 1. Pitched six innings. Gave up four runs and had seven strikeouts. Yeah, you know, love the Dodgers here. Love Clayton Kershaw on the mound. Um, yeah, you know, going to stick with L.A. in this one. Next matchup, we have the San Francisco Giants versus the Colorado Rockies. Pitching for the Giants is Anthony DeScalfani with an ERA of 3.23. He's 12-7. and seven. Pitching for the Rockies is John Gray with an ERA of 4.23. He's 8 and 11. The Giants opening up as the favorite at minus 155. Colorado plus 130 with the over under at 11 and a half. The last start for Dave Sclafani. He's 0 and 1. Pitched six innings, gave up two runs, and had six strikeouts. For Gray, he's 0 and 1. Pitched four innings, gave up two runs, and had five strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I'm sticking with the Giants here. I uh, love Dave Sclafani on the mound here. Um, yeah, you know, just love the Giants better in this matchup. Going to roll with San Francisco. All right, next matchup, we have the New York Mets versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Pitching for the Mets is Rich Hill with an ERA of 3.87. He is 6-7. and seven. Pitching for the Brewers is Corbin Burns with an ERA of 2.34. He's 10-4. and four. Brewers opening up as a favorite at minus 260 with the over-under at 7.5. The last start for Rich Hill. He's 1-0. Pitched four innings. Gave up two runs and had seven strikeouts. For Burns, he's 1-0. Pitched six innings. Gave up three runs and had 11 strikeouts. Yeah, I love the Brewers here. Uh, love Corbin Burns on the mound. Thought he was going to pitch yesterday, but they changed him to today. And uh, yeah, just love the, you know, Mets have been really hard to trust. They've been playing very badly here. Not a good matchup for them with Burns on the mound. Going to stick with the Brewers. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Mariners versus the Los Angeles Angels. Pitching for Seattle is Tyler Anderson with an ERA of 4.01. He is 7-9. Pitching for the Angels is Jamie Beria with an ERA of 4.77. He is 2-4. Seattle opening up as the favorites. Minus 150, Angels plus 135, with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Anderson, he's 1-0. Pitched 7 innings, gave up 1 run, and had 7 strikeouts. For Beria, he's 0-1. Pitched 5 innings, gave up 2 runs, and had 5 strikeouts. Yeah, I just like the way Seattle's been playing. They've looked really good here in their last 10 matchups. Uh, L.A., on you know kind of trending in the wrong direction they have not been playing very well here in their last 10 15 games have not looked good here um i'm gonna roll with seattle in this one next match up we have the toronto blue jays versus the minnesota twins pitching for the blue jays is robbie ray with an era of 2.72 he's 12 and 6 pitching for the twins is charlie barnes with an era of 6.61 he's 0 and 3 Toronto, um, let's see, hold up, hold up. Yeah, Toronto opening up as the favorite at minus 190. Twins plus 165 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Ray, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings, gave up three runs, and had five strikeouts. For Barnes, he's 1-0. Pitched four innings, gave up three runs, and had two strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Toronto's look, you know, kind of bad in their last couple games here. Uh, Minnesota's actually looked really good in their last three, four games, but um, hard to trust Minnesota on a game-to-game basis. They just aren't a very reliable team to bet on here. Going to keep rolling with the Blue Jays. 
Hope they could bring the bats out and uh, get a nice win here. Going to roll with Toronto. Then the last matchup on the board, we have the Atlanta Braves versus the San Diego Padres. Pitching for the Braves is Hosker Yanoa with an ERA of 3.43. He's 4-5. and five. Pitching for the Padres is Pierce Johnson with an ERA of 3.23. He is 0 oh and 3. He's 3 and 3. Um, let's see the Braves. This game I can't find any money line information on. I can't find anything. Um, so yeah, that's kind of uh, very concerning. I don't really understand it. I can't find any info on this game at all. I can find, I'll tell you the pitchers, but you won't be able to find any money line info probably till later on in the day. But uh, pitch, you know, you know, as one to know, pitched four innings, gave up three runs, and had two strikeouts. And then Pierce Johnson, he is one to know, pitched one inning, gave up one run, and had one strikeout. Yeah, weird. Uh, the weekends are always crazy. It's just how it always is every weekend. They don't. They really do lack on giving out proper lines. A lot of lines are missing. A lot of times they're not released to the last minute. A lot of pitching changes. There's been a lot of pitching changes this whole week. And um, so, yeah, I can't find any info on the over, under, or money line. So uh, just put a question mark next to this matchup. Probably just going to stay away from this matchup. I don't like that there's no lines out. Seems very sketchy here going to stay away from this one and we'll mark it as a question mark and that's going to be it for the video good luck with your picks and parlays on saturday hope you guys have a nice productive weekend here and i'll see you guys on sunday have a good one